In Jamaica, when the north-south leg of Highway 2000 was launched earlier this year, it was touted as a step in the country's ladder towards economic growth and stability. But for the businesses along the former route from Kingston to Oge Rios, this highway is anything but a blessing. When the north-south leg of Highway 2000 was launched earlier this year, the benefits to the people who had their businesses or applied their trade along the former route through the Bogwalk Gorge, along Mount Rossa, Faith Spen and Fern Gully, etc., was not left out of the equation. But months later, these people are yet to hear what the plans to include them are. Our team journeyed to Faith Spen and Fern Gully to see what impact the highway is having on their livelihoods. Craft Venda Jacqueline Anglin says the businesses, which are heavily reliant on outbound travelers and tourists, have seen a decline in visitors. When the people are going to airport or even coming from airport, we usually get good business. But from the highway, we don't see these people passing by anymore. What about the hotels in the area? Do they still have people shuttled through here so they can stop and see the... Or that has never been done? No, it's usually about from the highway, they don't stop by. They go on the highway, on the toll road. Adeline Reynolds, another vendor, notes that vendors have already identified how their businesses can be boosted in light of the highway pulling traffic from Fern Gully. And it involves this lot of land, but they need help. We got a piece of land around there. They say if we get structured, like if we get a piece of land and we get a piece of land already, this as a few chain around there, then we can get to build our shops, then we can get to go on the ship here to play our rears. That means we, can, we will get business. When we can go to the ship here, then we could have a better life. So that we're asking for some help from the UDC to build our shops, and that will be a little better for us. She adds that the issues have been relayed to the Transport and Tourism Ministries, having met with the latter during the tenure of the former administration. But she says an update on the current government's plans for the vendors are yet to be stated to them. She says a meeting has been requested with the current Minister of Tourism, Edmund Bartlett. Further along the corridor is Faith Spen, formerly a popular rest stop just below Mount Rossa in St. Anne, where people would often stop to get food, such as roast yam and saltfish. But even they have fallen on hard times. Vanda Denton Gordon says before the highway, business was promising, but since the opening of the route, business has fallen to almost nil. For now, he says the vendors have to strategize, but things will never be the same. Um, there are things we're thinking about what we could do to really enhance the sales back back on track. You understand? We, we know that we won't get back to where we were. But if we can get things that is sufficient for us to actually make a living and to develop our lives. Another vendor had a more ambitious suggestion. And I want the highway from that section to this section where cut out fates man. I would like we do something and get the highway to Japo back right here. You can't cut out so much important place through one highway. You see me like 10,000 people feel if one man happy, if one company happy, me not feel good about that. First, them trick us. They tell us on the news that it was Montrasa Highway. I never know that your turn I got cut out, Montrasa I got cut out, Faith Spin I got cut out. They never tell me that on the news first. They tell me it's going to be Montrasa Bypass. So. My little brain tell me it's going to chop right up there. But when I cut out 30 poor people business, you don't do nothing. More than, as I tell her, I could feel like we're in another world. We don't feel like nobody again. Right now, we can't match up to nobody on the road again. Think boil right now. And in Bog Walk, one vendor notes that the only assistance vendors in that area can be given at this time is an increase in the toll charges. The only way we can get local help is unless the highway, they lock up back here. Anyway. I then raise up back here, carry up back here, a toll, a price. And then the people they will come back the side. But if I see a way that I see a way to go mash up and we see you no better. She suggests the area be marketed as a tourist destination which may attract persons to the area rather than the highway. However, she believes that may still not work in the small man's interest. For one next honor. Anything poor people and try to do a bigger man, them take it away. You understand? So if they move, um, open a, a garden, a tourist attraction, you have a bigger man and go try to come and lick out a business here and we are coming on our walk one. They limit poor people. We don't have to pass. Like they, have one, they have one mark where we don't have to pass. You understand? So we don't know what happened to we out here.
One thing's clear. All the vendors along the corridor say they are waiting to hear from the Andrew Holis administration to declare what assistance can be offered.